now the latest on October 7th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Only one tropical system is active anywhere around the world today, so this is pretty much a glorified update on Typhoon Hagibis, which is now a Category 2 according to the latest SATID estimates from Force 13. So far we've had 70 storms on day 280 of the year, day 128 in the Atlantic, there are no systems active at this point, not even an invest, and it's the same story now in the Eastern Pacific now that 95E is gone, day 145 there. In the Western Pacific, Hagibis, the 34th typhoon equivalent storm of the year worldwide, now a category 2, and in the southern hemisphere there are no systems active, it's all quiet down there. So the only feature tonight that we'll be talking about is Typhoon Hagibis, which now has winds according to our estimates of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 971 millibars. It's 262 miles from Saipan, 15.1 north, 149.6 east, still rapidly intensifying and that will continue as we progress through the next 24-48 hours, most likely reaching category 5 intensity after clearing the islands and then uh, moving curving up towards the northwest towards the Japanese islands where it could still be a category 4 getting uncomfortably close close to Kyushu. Here's how the storm's been looking on the latest satellite imagery. Uh, you can see it's expanding the uh, western side, that band pushing through some of those islands now. Wind shear is extremely low, 5 to 10 knots. That looks like it's going to remain the case for some time yet, maybe even decreasing a little bit more later on. That's a intensifying storm, rapidly intensifying, could become very intense. The North Atlantic, a wide shot here, looks like this today. Um, Saharan dust dominating the eastern part of the ocean now, far cry from what we saw last week. Elsewhere we have just general little bitty disturbances in the Western Atlantic and in the uh, uh, the Western Caribbean through the Yucatan Channel into the Gulf. There is that other system there. A lot of blow-ups there over land over the Yucatan. The Eastern Pacific, you can still see what's left of 95E, but it's been taken off the system. Um, it is just producing just a tiny little bit of convection there, but elsewhere, really nothing going on in the basin at all. A few little low-level disturbances there down towards the equator, but not much going on at all today. The Western Pacific, dominated, of course, by Typhoon Hagibis. It is really the only thing that's going on in the basin. Um, but I think that's quite enough to keep us occupied looking at how fast that thing is intensifying today. Um, yesterday we were looking at it, tropical storm only to just become a tropical storm when we were doing last night's tropical weather bulletin. And now it is a category two and is really going through the gears. The Australia and South Pacific region, very quiet today. One or two little flare ups, but really nothing at all to speak of. The Indian Ocean. Uh, more flare-ups there as well, uh, mainly over land areas, uh, over the water, very little going on at all yet again, and it doesn't look like we'll be seeing a tropical cyclone anytime soon in any of those sub-basins. Sea surface temperatures cooling down now generally in the eastern Pacific and in parts of the Atlantic, not seeing many 30s anymore apart from in the western Caribbean where it is still piping hot as it will be for a little while longer yet. Still a nice warm pool off the Lesser Antilles, but further east, still not going to be recovering very much from the from Lorenzo's trail in the Eastern Atlantic. I think that's shut down now. The uh, Indian Ocean, fairly warm, 29, 30 degrees. Western Pacific, where this storm is right now, it is pretty much over the hot spot of the Westpac. 30 degrees, maybe even pushing a little bit higher, but it will cool down after it passes through the Mariana Islands. So really, the best conditions for this storm are probably right now, up to about two days from now, when sea surface temperatures, the energy drops off just a little bit. Um, but still conditions will remain very favorable for this storm right the way through day 5 so it could be a big threat towards the Japanese coast. Already it is a stage 6 for the, um, for the Mariana Islands if it does make landfall on any of them. Still it could deliver 12 inches of rain by the way to Saipan. 
so here we are right now. The next name in the Atlantic is Melissa in the Eastern Pacific. We're still looking out for Octave. In the Central Pacific, Ema is next up on list one. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list will be Neoguri. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well, it's Force 13 all in text, and you can contact us on any of those platforms. That's all for now, and we'll be back with another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description. 